Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the word altar blames. Blames that comes from the altar. You, you, you remember the, the story of Cain and Abel? I mean, both of them decided to bring a sacrifice to God. God never required that sacrifice from them. It was a decision. It was a voluntary decision. It was not coerced. And they decided to bring the, the offering to God. So number one, they decided to bring the offering to God, the sacrifice. Number two, they decided the materials they wanted to bring. Each and every one of them had the choice. Nobody imposed the choice. God did not impose the choice. God didn't demand. But they decided. Now Cain gave from the fruit of the ground, that is plants and all those things. But Abel gave from his, his sheep. Now Abel gave blood. But Cain just gave something from the soil. And the Bible said something that is so powerful. And God had respect onto the, onto the sacrifice of, of, of Abel. And, but he didn't have respect onto the sacrifice of Cain. Wow. Now we know that God is no respecter of persons. But I want to say this. The first principle is that God is a respecter of sacrifice. Now what was the difference between, between uh, Cain's sacrifice and Abel's sacrifice? The difference is very clear. Blood. Blood. Life. Pain. Pain. So Abel offered a painful sacrifice. But Cain offered a pleasant sacrifice. So th th there was blood in it. And the Bible says God had respect unto, un unto the sacrifice of, of Abel. But didn't have respect unto the sacrifice of of, of, of Cain. Now, David made a statement. That statement is one of the powerful said, I will not give anything to God that cost me nothing. But in the fields of Arana, where he was going to offer, he said, I need to buy this field to build an altar and all those other things. And then, and then Arana said, Oh, you can take it for He said, No, 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 no. I am going to offer God a painful sacrifice. You see, God had respect unto the painful sacrifice of the pain field sacrifice of Abel, but he didn't have respect unto the pleasure field sacrifice of, of Cain. So, you know, and then when, 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 when Cain saw that, instead of sitting down to, to look at himself and say, what did I do wrong? He rather saw Cain, uh, Abel, as the reason for God not accepting his sacrifice. Excuse me, excuse me. What part did Abel play in the sacrifice of Cain? What did he do? It was a choice to sacrifice. It was a choice of the material to use for the sacrifice. It was Cain. But Cain began to blame Abel for where he was. The dissatisfaction of God with him. He blamed Abel for it. That's exactly what we do sometimes, isn't it? There were choices you made and you are bearing the consequences of those choices but you blame other people for it. You blame somebody as a witch. You blame somebody's grandmother somewhere. You blame this thing. It is, it is the choices you made. You were the responsible for the mistakes. That person didn't make those choices for you. Adam, you made a choice to, to, to take the, the, the apple and eat. Eve, you made a choice. Why are you, Adam, why are you blaming Eve? And Eve, why are you blaming the serpent? Take responsibility. And sometimes when God is blessing people, you get jealous and you get envious and you don't sit down to find out why you are not there. Check your sacrifice. Check the effort you put in. Check the pain. Check the sacrifices you made. And sometimes compare 
the sacrifices that that person made. Where were you when that person was burning the midnight oil? Where were you when that person was combing land and sea in order to secure that contract? Where were you? But you sit back and then you blame the person for your predicament or your present situation of poverty. Why do you do that? Alter blames. Make those same sacrifices and see whether it will happen. Make those same commitments to God. Make those same sacrifices to God and see whether he wouldn't, he wouldn't answer. The Bible says, he who must come to God must first know that he is. God is a reality. It is not an, it's not an abstract thought. He is. And he's a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. So there are people who are diligently seeking him. There are people who are looking for him. He didn't say he's a rewarder of them that seek him. He said, who diligently seek him. So people are adding diligence to their desire. If you're sitting in the comfort of your, of your armchair and thinking that heaven must come to you. Oh wow, is that it? Altar sacrifices, altar blames are choices you make. See you later.